Hi and welcome to Functions. Just before we start, a quick reminder that there is a notes jotter available for this video. Just check the description below for a download link and you can work along with me as we go through the video. Okay, so we begin with f is a function such that f of x equals 3x squared plus 2. Now all this means when we say f of x, it just means whatever number here we replace for x, we replace here as well. It is what is happening to that letter x in order to create an output. So it's all basically inputs. This is the input and this result is the output. And so if I've been asked to find f of 2, 2 is my input. And so I'm going to input that value into the expression. And so it's 3 brackets 2 squared plus 2. And if I do that, well I need to go through the process of making sure I uh, perform bid mass in the correct order. So that's going to be 2 squared first. So 3 times 2 squared is 12 and then plus 2. That's going to give me 14. Find f of minus 3. Well again, negative 3 is my input. So I'm going to input it into the formula. So negative 3 squared and then plus 2. Negative 3 squared, well that's negative 3 times negative 3 is 9, times 3 is 27, plus 2 is 29. The last bit asks us to solve f of x equals 50. And so what this is saying is that 50 is the output. And so it's actually telling me that 50 equals 3x squared plus 2. And so if I'm going to solve it, what I want to know is what must the input have been? So what is x? And therefore, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to try and solve the equation. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to subtract 2 from both sides. So 48 equals 3x squared. I'm going to divide by 3. So that's going to be 16 equals x squared. And then in order to get x on its own, I'm going to have to square root. But if I square root, I must remember that there is a positive and a negative result to that. And so x is the square root of 16, which is plus or minus 4. Either one of those would have worked as the input. In our next example, we have been given information that there are actually two functions, f and g f is the function such that f of x equals x plus 2 and g of x is x equals uh, sorry g of x equals x squared now what we are getting here are what are known as composite functions composite means to build on top of another so f g of 2 means that what we want to do is first of all let's think of this as a bracket it means that the first thing we want to do is g of 2. So we want to find um, the value of g when the input is 2. And so I'm going to input first 2 into the function g. And so that is 2 squared. 2 squared is obviously 4. But then this answer is then being placed into 4. And so uh, into f. And so f of Four would be placing the number 4 in here and so 4 plus 2 and so f g of 2 would actually equal 6 we've performed the function g first and then put that answer into the function f and so if I've got g f of negative 3 well that means that f is the first function which is applied and so we need to do f of negative 3 first. And so I'm going to put negative 3 plus 2. And so that equals negative 1. That is then going to go into function g. So g of negative 1 equals negative 1 squared. Because it's going into the function g. Negative 1 squared is 1. And therefore g f of negative 3 equals 1 
Lastly, it says solve fg of x equals 18. Now what this requires us to do is we're actually going to have to do a little bit of algebraic manipulation ourselves beforehand. The key thing here is that g of x is the first thing that happens. And so what this is actually saying is the result of g of x is going to go into f. And so really what we're saying is this result x squared is what is going to go into f. Now, given that f is x plus 2, this input needs to go into the formula. And so, instead of x, we actually have x squared plus 2. And so, fg of x is x squared plus 2. And so, if we are going to solve that this equals 18, well, all that means is that x squared plus 2 equals 18 and so let's solve the problem let's subtract 2 from both sides x squared equals 16 and then take the square root x equals and once again two possible answers plus or minus 4 and in both cases that would produce an answer of 18 at the end and finally, f and g are functions such that f of x equals 3x plus 1 and g of x equals x squared plus 2. Find f to the minus 1 of 7. Now what this negative 1 actually means is we want to know the inverse of the function. An inverse just means um, the process that you would go through in order to take an output back to the input and so all I'm going to do here is I'm just going to think about um, how I would uh, do this so if I think of a function machine I've got x and in f it gets multiplied by 3 to give me 3x and then I add 1 to make 3x plus 1 so then if in fact I started with x here as my output and worked backwards how would I get the input, well I would take away 1, so I'd have x take away 1, and then when I, instead of multiplying by 3, I would divide by 3, and therefore the inverse is actually x take away 1 all over 3. And so this top function is f of x, but this is f to the minus 1x, the inverse of the function. And so all I then need to do is to place the number 7 into this function here and I will get my answer. So 7 take away 1 over 3, well 7 take away 1 is 6, divided by 3 is 2. In finding g to the minus 1 of 66, so again that is the inverse and so all I want to do to start with is just think well, what have I done in order to make f of x? So f, uh, sorry, g of x, so x has been squared to make x squared, and then we added 2 to make x squared plus 2. That is g of x. And so if I then wanted to work backwards, well, I would begin with x at the output, and instead of adding 2, I'm going to take away 2, just to give me x take away 2, and then instead of squaring, I'm going to square root, and so it's going to be the square root of x take away 2. And that is going to be the inverse of x. And so again, all I need to do is to pop this value into my inverse function. And so that is going to be 66 take away 2, which means I've got the square root of 64. And the square root of 64 has two possible answers again. It has a positive and a negative 8. And so finally, we then asked to solve f to the minus 1 of x equals 4. And so again, all we need here is we need to know what the inverse of f is. And we worked out that the inverse of f was x to take away 1 over 3. And we've been told that this must equal 4. And so all I need to do is solve this to find the value of x. So I will multiply by 3 on both sides. So x take away 1 equals 12. And then add on 1 to both sides. x equals 
13. And so we end with the exam question. And this came from Edexcel in June 2018, and it was higher paper 2. It tells us that f and g are functions such that f of x equals 2 over x squared and g of x equals 4x cubed. And we've been asked to find f of negative 5. And so all this is saying is uh, there is my input to replace x. And so f of negative 5 would be 2 over negative 5 squared. And all we need to do there is work out what negative 5 squared is. Well, 2 over negative 5 squared is 25. And so it's 2 over 25. That is a perfectly acceptable answer. If you wanted to give it as a decimal, all you would do is type it into your calculator, as this was a calculator paper. And you would get 0 0.08. And in B, fg of 1, now remember, is as this is a composite function, it means that what we are dealing with is, first of all, g of 1. So 1 needs to be placed into this expression. And so 4 lots of 1 cubed. So g of 1 equals, well, 4 lots of 1 cubed. 1 cubed is 1 times 4. That means it is 4. And then that answer is going to go into function f. And so the answer to that is 4. And so that goes into the function of f, which is 2 over x squared. So that's 2 over 4 squared. 2 over 16, which is 1, eight, uh, sorry, 1 over 8, which is 0 0.125. And that is our final answer.